Hey guys, welcome to November. I am so excited to be here with you guys yet again. Um, the air is crisp, the leaves are beautiful, and we're going to have a whole lot of excuses to get together with family um, and to just celebrate, right? So that's really exciting. Um, so to ring in just kind of November um, and kind of bringing the year to a close almost, which is just crazy to me how fast the year has gone by. Um, I just want to talk about some fun facts, um, show you guys some trivia, and let's just jump in and get started. So this one is a lot of times celebrated by men. Um, if you are a fella, you might have heard of this before. Um, so November is actually National Beard Month or No Shave Month. Um, you may have heard some of the fellas call it No Shave November. Um, so this actually is for a great cause. It's actually to bring awareness to cancer. Um, so they may look scruffy, but it's for a good thing. If um, you are a lady and you would like to celebrate No Shave November, I actually know a lot of ladies that will not shave their legs um, in order to bring awareness to cancer. Um, so whether you want to save money on razors or you just want to support the cause, whatever your reason may be, you're probably going to see a lot of scruffy faces. So November is the month immediately following up the spookiest month of the year, right? Um, we have Halloween in October. October is just the spooky month. Well, November also has its own folklore and its own superstitions. Um, so I just want to read you guys just a couple. If there's ice in November, that will bear a duck. There'll be nothing after but sludge and muck. So hopefully, fingers crossed, no ice in November because I don't want the sludge and the muck later on. If trees show buds in November, the winter will last until May. I'm not sure if you love winter or not, but I know that winters in Michigan are long and cold. So I'm hoping by the time that May comes, we have a little bit of sunshine and a little bit of warmth. There is no better month in the year to cut wood than in November. Um, so a lot of times it's getting really cold, right? Um, sometimes if you are an outdoors person, you're kind of um, stuck inside more. So it's a perfect time right before the snow hits to actually gather all of that um, wood, especially because it's going to start drying out with the weather getting colder. So ice in November brings mud in December. So uh, I don't know if I'd rather have mud or if I'd rather walk in snow. I know at least if I track snow through the house, when it melts, it's clear, right? The last one says a heavy November snow will last until April. So if we have a lot of snow in the month of November, it's saying that um, winter will last until April. Um, I'm hoping for April showers <laughs> instead, right? Not snow. So I'm not sure if any of you have actually heard of any of these, um, although we do live in Michigan, so I'm not exactly sure how accurate any of those are. So I want to talk about another thing having to do with getting outside. Um, our time to get outside is really dwindling as the weather is definitely getting a lot colder. So fall is actually the best time to prepare your yard properly for healthy spring growth. Um, so you want to prep your outdoor space um, in this month in order to have easy and healthy gardens and flowers later on. Um, so if you actually rake up all your leaves, for one, this is a lot easier because um, than leaving them there because if you wait until the winter's over, they're going to be very cold and wet. There's going to be a lot more bugs underneath. Um, not only that, they're going to be very heavy. Um, so you'll probably use a lot of yard bags that way. Um, also, it says you should check your trees around your house. You want to look for any weak branches, anything that you think might fall off during the winter or anything like that. Um, just clear those out and put them in a yard bag and get them to the side of the road um, before they stop collection. That way you won't have as much to clean up in the spring. Um, so your yard will just be 
um, easier to maintain in the spring and you won't have so much spring cleanup. Okay, so I wanna know who are my friends who have been born in November? I wanna know who has a November birthday and I wanna see what you know about your birth month. Okay, so we're gonna do this a little bit different. I am gonna make some of these things about the month of October into some trivia. So my first question, what is the birthstone of November? Did you get your guesses in? Because November's traditional birthstone is actually the topaz. So the topaz is actually a yellow, almost amber looking stone. So ancient Greeks actually believed that the topaz um, could make its wearer invisible. And it's a symbol of honor and strength. It was also believed to bring you longevity in life and a lot of wisdom. Um, so I don't know about you, but I like what the ancient Greeks have to say. <laughs> okay, so what is the birth flower of November? Are you ready for the answer? The birth flower is the chrysanthemum. So they actually represent cheerfulness. Um, a red one can convey I love you, while white symbolizes truth and pure love. A yellow one can indicate slighted love. So next question, what is your zodiac if you have a birthday in this month? So again, I hope you guys have been paying attention to other videos because this one is always a tricky question. So you would be a Scorpio if your birthday landed anywhere from October 23rd to November 22nd. If your birthday is from the 22nd on, you would be a Sagittarius. So which one are you, Scorpio or Sagittarius? Okay. So... In November, there's typically a full moon. Um, so traditionally, what is November's full moon called? Okay, it is actually called the beaver moon. Um, this goes all the way back to the colonial area, era, so um, the time of the pilgrims, right? Um, this was the month to set one's beaver traps before the swamps froze and beavers retired to their lodges. Um, so this way they could ensure that they had lots of furs and lots of meat to get through the winter um, to be fed and to be warm. Okay, last one. True or false, yams and sweet potatoes are the same. Now... I don't know about you, but this, I think, is a common conversation. I know, as a child, I have asked, aren't they the same thing? Okay, so this is actually false. So what you prefer to eat is up to you, whether or not you like sweet potatoes or yams. Um, but there is a difference. The yam is actually a big root. Um, whereas the sweet potato is very closely related to the morning glory flower. Um, I think I told you this another time in a video that the potato is very close to the um, morning glory flower. They're actually in the same um, family. So in the U.S. today, it's possible to find true yams um, if you go to some urban markets. However, most yams in the U.S. are actually sweet potatoes. Um, so... Yams have a moist texture and they have an orange colored flesh, whereas sweet potatoes um, are more starchy and drier, um, but they are typically sweeter. So whichever one that you prefer. Okay, so November is also known for its um, big holidays like Thanksgiving, of course. Um, we all have definitely celebrated Thanksgiving year to year. Um, it's a big deal. Uh, a lot of times you learn about it in school from year to year. As you get older, you learn just a little bit more. Um, but November also brings awareness to other things. Um, like we talked about earlier with No Shave November, um, bringing awareness to cancer. So the month of November also brings awareness to adoption, um, Alzheimer's disease awareness. 
um, Peanut Butter Lovers Month. It's also Raisin Bread Month, Sweet Potato Awareness Month. Remember, I just made you aware. So as well as awareness for all different kinds um, of cancers, you know, like I said, um, with the No Shave November. So thank you guys so much for joining me again. I hope you have a wonderful November. Um, if you like this video, please give us a like. If you would like to see any different videos in the future, as always, leave us a comment and we will definitely try to make some videos of some things that interest you and keep things fun.